Yeah. And that means we should be live. So let's check out the good old fashioned YouTube's and be like, YouTube. Right. If they say we're live, we're live. If not, we're not. You know. Did you? Uh, do we advertise it? Yeah, we're live. I did not advertise it. Yo. I have not really had a chance to do much advertising. What are you doing? Just do it then. Just do, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, this is Can Team. Uh, as weird as it sounds, there Hi. is at least two of us. Yo. Uh, one and another one. Yep. I am one. Meth is uh, another one. Yep. And we're here with a reaction video to Idea Factory's presentation at the New Game Plus Expo, Whoa. known as NGPX for short. Hey, how's it going, all Mike? <laughs> all Mike. So uh, we're here. We're at the two hour, 10 minute, and 43 second mark at the Fade to Black. Um, yep. We don't have a link for it to share for you uh, in the chat, but you know what? Here we are. We're going to react to it, see what goodies they've presented. And uh, me and Meth are going to be watching at the same time, separately, but at the same time. So we're going to give a quick countdown to start. And Hold we're going to what? Reacting to NGPX Yo. shit. How's it going, Come Daniel? See. Hi. Oh, uh, did Ko get back to you? Did Ko back to, get back to me? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, my uh, PS4 crashed. Oh, no, it's anime? Yo, it is I, anime fan RK2K. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe this video. Yep. And, just, you know, just meth rail. this video. Yep. And we got meth rail. Get off your get off get your UE plushie off? No, no, I can't do that. You ready to go Hurricane as well on the way? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, Beth, are you ready now? No, I'm doing the Twitter the Twitter one. Okay. That's what I was asking. Yo, know, but uh, you know, it's gonna we're gonna do this. It's gonna be good. Playing Vanguard Zero BRB. Alright, Leo Alex, no problem. <laughs> X plus. It's it's NG plus X. FI. NGPX is a new game plus expo. Uh, no. Yeah. Bloody baby. Yeah, you know what? We're not going that... into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, not, not going to go into that right now. You know. IFI has heard that, by the way. We like Blonde has heard that on tw on Twitch. CPU Blonde has heard that. Uh, I have Idea Factory has heard that song. Idea Factory International, at least. Watch next uh, next uh, next compound is gonna be fucking uh contact is like hey we're making VVV two near two but we want to add other YouTubers can we add some of your music and we're like oh fuck <laughs> like the whole if he's curved like, oh yeah that's Mathrail you can we can mention that one who's on the what now <laughs> you you were on uh deck the halls with if he's cursing yes I was oh hey. my god that was fun but I will say my very favorite cover uh, parody of deck the halls is um. No. Deck the Conquest End. Done oh, by wow. yours truly. Really. In one take. So great. Alright, now, uh, as I wait for Methrail to uh, advertise on social media, once again, this is going to be a reaction to Dia Factory's presentation at the New Game Plus Expo. I know yes. nothing of this other than I think Death and Request 2 gameplay might be in it. Uh, is what probably. I heard. Is what I heard. Also, like, um,. I don't think VVV Tunia was mentioned in it, but we'll see. Maybe it was, and I'll be pleasantly surprised. We shall see. We shall see. And, <coughs> excuse me. Fortunately, my... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Unfortunately, un unfortunately my um, kind of like experience with Idea Factory and, and news about it comes from me just uh, bothering, uh, just, uh, uh, bothering around the Japanese compile heart site. And YouTube every once in a while. Yep. And uh, occasionally, um, uh, Meth tells me something. But yep. He, he kind of is like, hey, let's watch this together. So I'm assuming he didn't watch it. Yep, that's correct. If you're a lot more invested in a total fandom on Mike, welcome. Welcome, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> the total fandom is always open to make fun of you for playing in easy mode. <laughs> you know what I like is that hard mode is basically the easiest mode. No, it's lunatic or nothing, man. I don't get why it's so much 
easier for me to well, play harder modes. Well, to be fair, uh, Toll is like a... It's kind of like a rhythm game, almost. It's kind like, of, it's yeah. Like the bullets aren't fully random. It's based off of your placement stuff, so... Uh, you know, you have to react a little bit, but you can also memorize a lot of patterns. Yeah, yep. Faith is for the transient yeah. ninja, Dark Pegasus. <laughs> play only a harder lunatic on mic, same. It's Rafi Chicken, what? <laughs> All right, All right, I Matt. just don't want any feedback to go through my microphone, so we'll see how this goes. Woo! All right, you ready? Okay. Ready. Going on, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, Death and Request 2. Stream starting soon. Ooh. Ooh, look, it's people I don't know. I don't think either one of those are repeat characters. So, random thing, as we hear some nice piano in the background, uh, I didn't know Trillion, God of Destruction. Oh. In a world where left is right. Oh. What the hell? I don't know, I didn't realize there were lyrics. No, someone's playing a guitar. Listen, play by the rules. Oh, it's Rob! <laughs> I was gonna say, that sounds okay. like Rob. <laughs> We yeah, Zane, right? Rob and Rain. <laughs> I don't even think Rain's there. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another. Oh no, of they had that happen again. Hosted by the lovely people at New Game Expo. My name is Rob Dizzle, and uh, I'm joined here by our uh, lovely co-host. Here we have. Oh, Zan Dragon, and then I think I think Rain's face is frozen. <laughs> Every every stream they have this happen every once in a while. I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> I, just, you know, I just wanted to put my best foot forward before everyone. Uh, so this, so um, this is our, our lovely editor, uh, Rain. He's the lead editor for. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Death and Request hello, Two comes out hello, August twenty fifth. Cool. <laughs> North America. <laughs> I gotta finish the first one. It's so good. I haven't played any of them, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so while Rain joins in, uh, for those that are tuning in right now, the, we're gonna be streaming Death and Request 2. This is the first oh. time we're actually gonna be Fully? showing uh, the Death and Request 2 English build. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty excited. Yep. It's the first, time, first look that everyone's gonna get a chance of Death and Request 2. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about kind of what the story oh, I missed this frozen face <laughs> already. The systems within Death oh, it froze again for a sec. And, uh, our lovely uh, editor here Not good will enough. also be kind of chiming in and talking about his process as a localization editor and also uh, his experience with uh, the voice acting within Death and Request 2. You know, the first one, the Alex um, But yeah, so this game is going to come out. I'm sure you guys saw the trailer. It's coming out in North America. Uh, for PS4 and on Steam on August 25th. I did not watch the trailer. I'm PS4 sorry. For Europe, it's going to come out on August 28th. It was interesting. Very excited. Uh, it's coming out very soon, so hopefully you guys got that stuff yep. list on Steam. Uh, and stay tuned for more news. And yeah, so that is that. And uh, is there anything? Oh, more importantly, more importantly. Uh, so this stream, we're also going to be doing a giveaway. Ooh. Uh, I know people like free things. I love free things. Yeah, they do giveaways. Three questions. Each question, two winners will win. Uh, the first two questions will win a standard edition copy of Death End Quest 2. Oh, and, meth, quick, uh, get in there. The last Go question, back in time. Two winners will have <laughs> a chance to... How's it work, dude? That's a lie. Uh, if you guys don't have... We're dedicated enough to Death End Quest 2. <laughs> Guess what? Just posted the link on the chat. You guys can check that out. Uh, very cool stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, super excited. If and yes, know, Rain is drinking uh, on the job. Now's your chance because I posted something else on chat. So my question is, why does Rob like, have uh, a face mask on when he's anything. at home? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't <laughs> think they're actually at like, home. But I, I hope you guys they can, look uh, like they're in different yeah, parts of the office. I don't know why Rob has a face mask on. Well, yeah, he doesn't so, usually. Right before we go ahead and start on the stream, uh, Rain, if you can give us kind of a synopsis of what Death End Request 2 and kind of shed some light on um, what is Death End Request in general <laughs> for me. Um, not familiar with it. Okay, is he gonna do that? Uh, so Death End Request 2 is an action horror RPG. Is it horror? Makoto Kedowin, who is it's kind, yeah, yeah, it's horror. And, uh, the story focuses on my Toyama. 
is looking for her sister Sanae uh, in a town called Leshuara, which is like the secluded kind of rural mountain town in Africa or Eastern Europe. Uh, little does she know, though, that the town is buried, uh, sorry, has some buried secrets, and, you know, there's like dark creatures prowling the night. And, and the hounds of Ascaville. Kind of uh, and so she attends this orphanage uh, turned boarding school called the uh, Wordsworth Women's Orphanage. Uh, which is, from what she understands, her sister's last note. And the cool thing about this game is gameplay is kind of split between two primary modes, um, which are referred to as day and night game. Maya's during the day, Maya is able to make interact. Okay, yeah, we're getting some feedback from Mira and Matt. We are, okay. Participate in some kind of dialogue, visual novels. Well, let me see if I can turn down my microphone sensitivity or turn down the volume. All the spooky dungeons and fight these... So really I don't understand the horror genre of video games as a person who doesn't uh, get cool afraid of horror is that video games, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming like there's some uh, cheap... I know, every, every horror game, game for you has been a comedy so far. What are you talking about? Oh, is that an for like, you laugh at every oh, no. single one, don't you? R.I.P. Parade! <laughs> I mean, like, I laugh when uh, other people get scared, yeah. R.I.P. Hashtag R.I.P. Parade, everybody in the chat. I think people understood that for the most part. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think he just disconnected and reconnected. Uh, I like how the names uh, are just the in the wrong place. The game is very horror-inspired. Um, yeah, Rob is rain. Elements of, uh, very, uh, like, oh, cool, shit. Like, I plugged in my headphones. Horror or elements. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, That's what I feel like about and, most horror uh, games. While we wait for rain to come on, I don't know if we want to switch to. Oh, I should have realized this was um, going to happen. Is that him? Is he main... back? Hey, I'm back. he's back. He's <laughs> back. <laughs> okay, guys, we promised we did tech run and everything to try. Take me down, but I just keep coming back stronger. You know what I mean? Now I can't hear shit. Hey, okay, here's your again. Someone said that well, before. I can hear you, yeah. but I can't hear the uh, stream because was, was I plugged there, in my headset so that there wouldn't be feedback. About the story for Death now you're using your headset? Right. Now I'm using my headset, yeah, yep. <laughs> you got through uh, most of it. I think you got most of it. At least I'm using my, the headphones but from my headset. Oh, so are you playing in the in history? Uh, so right now PC, I see. is kind of the, the, over, the system what? UI for uh, what had happened during the day. Uh, as you see here, uh, Zen, if you can kind of, uh... You want to send a hate? End you what hate? Speak with anyone at this I'm sorry, what? Oh, Last of Us 2 the, hate. Uh, oh, people oh. felt that there, were, the, uh, there was just uh, too much, I think. People yeah, and not enough, so, like, uh, Last of Us. within the game, we have... Sorry, I'm, like, trying to get, like, the chat... We have the women's I dormitory. Think. Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, during the daytime, you spend your time at the in the dormitory you can talk to um wow I'm a jokes on you dirk Two's a dating sim no there's a lot of people following us and thank you for all the follows hey. <laughs> that was yeah, wow thank you shout out to the um, followers but yeah so uh when you are in uh, during the daytime you're going to be in the dormitory you can go to any place in the dormitory and then you can also go outside um but here you'll be able to talk to a few different people um that live in the dormitory and honestly, so this game is, it has, yeah, Rob is rain it's, a choose, it's like you choose your own adventure. So not enough zombie killing? That's what, that's what I heard on like, you, you can, as a person who's not played The Last of Us though, I can't really comment. Alive. So depending on who shows up. I think I have the, the definitive games, edition on, uh, on PS4. I mean, I have it on PS4 so as well, but I haven't played it yet. Tra like, play yeah, through the same. Game, the people can be different from like what you see on my screen. Okay, so <laughs> there's so an element of trying to keep people alive. We don't have anyone outside, but then you can talk to any of these cool. people. Cool! Or you can just end the day and skip all the events if you want. Like an but idiot. But we do recommend going through all of the events because if you... They didn't want to call us the idiot. So I think we recommend chart, doing this and instead. And when you go into the episode chart, yep. you can actually get, like, weapons and items and stuff. So they do... Mm -hmm. This game rewards you for going through all <sighs> I'm going to have to reload my tab. Events. It's called Social Links. Wait, and what? a lot of game over scenes. I'm gonna have to reload my tab. What do you mean reload your tab? You get because my uh, browser sound crashed <laughs> when I plugged in my uh, headset. Different people, no way. Yeah, there's what? a lot of different people. My browser sound crashed when oh, I plugged just, in my headset. You have to pause. You have to pause. I'm not a white yeah, I have to pause. I'm at uh, 21938. I'm at 2942. All right, I'll move up to 42 and I'll pause again. Ah. <sighs> Well, I don't know how you're going to test it, if your browser's doing it or not. 
open a different video maybe like in youtube oh. and see if it works Ah, there we right, go. Guys, uh, Meth's having technical difficulties. I think it originates from the fact that he um, doesn't like using Chrome for obvious reasons, but then that means he has to use something other than Chrome. So you either have to lose all your RAM and you can't function, or you have to use Firefox because that's obviously the better choice over What's Explorer the time Edge. signature? Because when I restarted, it just like... 2.19.42. You have to pause this and start the gym, Leo Alex? Yo, get those gains. <laughs> Get those games. This is play the first Last of Us, all Mike. Yeah, you know, same, same. I even have it for free too, so I have even less excuse to. Not okay, like I'm it. at two nineteen forty two now. All right, we're gonna. Uh, you ready to uh, count down again? Do you yeah. start? All right, three, two, one, go. Every time I play a game, my characters die. So. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, yeah so then it's called the wiper killer. Like a, kind of like a taste of what the dialogue scenes they're going to be visual novels so the daytime is uh, primarily visual novel so then mm, just uh, sounds so like persona kind of give you like a little it kind persona, of is persona, persona, persona. Persona. like so then mm. um i have right. it on auto so basically i don't know who's who characters my toyama is the one on the right and okay then roddy is on the left um these two roddy are tops? two of the main characters in death that, that is exactly what we're in. I, I leaned against the wall um, waiting for roddy mom Really sent someone's eyes on me. Trying to see Molly glaring at me. The dormitory. So then Roddy is kind of up uh, there. This won't be good. In He's in the ranks. She's in the high ranks. She's yeah. in the high ranks. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So there's a hierarchy in the dormitory. I don't like cool. this Robbie X Robbie comparison, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> Robbie X. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I dig that or not. Someone said, "So what happened to Sheena?" So there are characters in this game that um, showed up in the first game that do make an appearance in this game. But for Sheena, you'll have to play. To She's play dead, out. isn't she? I bet they, uh, I bet they yeah. accidentally yeah. killed her already. Oh, and is asking about the combat. So right now, we're kind of looking at the visual aspect, aspect of it, and it's kind of like it's basically the vehicle uh, that keeps the narrative going within oh, the game. I don't know any so any of the story in Last of Us. It's the visual nozzle lens, mm -hmm. and then uh, during at night. That's now, is this true for the first Death End request as well, Meth? Yeah. Okay. As right. a person who's played it, is it There's like? Two sections so this is there's the, the uh goes, visual novel play section play and the uh action game. role playing or the but so action overworld and turn-based strategy so rpg be, section a lot of you, uh, to so basically the same as this or in essence i think yeah characters. Um, now does the first one also like take place in some eastern european country i've been heartbroken a few times playing this game yeah, um, so people that are jo true. just joining in right now, Death and Request 2, right now, what you're seeing on the screen, it seems very cutesy, but the game itself is very horror and Sounds like Gakko Garashi, man. What a it great, happy-go-lucky uh, anime the series. For a reason, there's yeah. a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of uh, if you think about, uh, gory, if you think... gory aspects of the, of the game. It's like that, school life is what they're saying. Yeah. Okay, got it. Speaking like Gakko Garashi. Gory, Rain, how yeah. was it writing yeah. some of those death scenes? Because, like, some of the death um, scenes, guys, are like... <laughs> brutal like they are so like you were talking about the guy who wrote corpse party right so you can only yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. how crazy these deaths can be i know like a lot of people were hey, it's like it's not down the road us yet the first game because so many people yeah. like die like horribly <laughs> so in this game it's also the same some of the deaths are actually kind of worse, i bet there's a way to save opinion. everyone too right so yeah. how did you feel uh, like, i don't know like editing those rain well i think every time we got to the park I would just be like, oh man, you know what I mean? Like, I would always kind of, I, mean, I would always leave a. a hey, Matthew, if you ever need someone to write you a death scene, kind of, I'll do it with a like smile on my face. My skin a little bit, <laughs> I right? know. Especially like if it's voiced, we kind of know. I and so know. it's always, I think Who my told favorite you? part whenever we I'll voice wait. those parts is kind of like letting the, the voice actor know and kind of seeing how they react. And seeing oh, I think it's my table. Yep. Taking mm. and kind of imbibing with life, you know? But. Uh huh. Some of those blood curdling screens and some it of the is right that now. Uh, like, I need to like listen to meditation music on my way home. I need to <laughs> so he's having PTSD <laughs> from writing these scenes. Wow. Well, you heard it here first. Rain, Rain, the lead editor of Death and Request, is uh, telling y'all yeah. to listen to some Enya before you guys play this game. Yeah, <laughs> listen that's right. Some Enya. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to some Enya, and build some new age. Yeah. Light of incense. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I just imagined him like taking like a hot shower. And then in the background, you just hear Enya, and he's just like, his eyes are closed. And he's just like, <laughs> All right, so someone's painting the image for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's good. Nice, yeah. nice. 
See, man, you know what I would play in the background if I uh, had to write a death scene for a character everyone loved? One Winged Angel. Can we save everyone, or will? Yeah, I was pretty sure something. Xbox. You know, I wish I could answer that because. I've not, I, I clearly have not successfully kept everybody alive, but that, wait, Rain, do you know? Can you keep everybody alive? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I, just, I, okay. I would encourage people to find out for themselves. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> they only right. didn't give it. I bet you right, can, Let's though. go into the game and then kind of talk about Maybe. So right now we were talking But I bet you, like, true ending requires you to lose, like, specific people know, in specific why ways. Why you right? That's not right? even a word. Our work. Uh, yeah. So we're talking the visual aspect of, visual novel aspect of the game. Actually, now is now Death End Request all about, like, people dying? Oh, there's a lot of that going on, yeah. No, I mean, like, like even main characters or important characters dying. Uh, specifically, as uh, your main character has a lot of um, bad end deaths. Yeah. yeah. See something creepy. Yeah. So basically, hey, in All right, let's see something creepy. In the dungeon, Ray. not only are you going to be fighting against uh, like maybe too much for y'all, Mike. Monster is called Shadow Matter, but like when you are act when you are also going through the dungeon, mm. there's these things called like dark shadows or berserkers when they pop up in battle. They're like they just imagine like a blank like Slenderman. I'm the type, I'm the type of person who gets every bad end though. Start so. You. And it like walks like all like <laughs> like this, and then um. So I think but... this is only gonna be about death and request. Do you think it's actually for our... yo? I like I like I like how what she she looks like uh what's her face? Oh no 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 no! So yeah, so this is a dungeon. We're Dia, I think she looks like Dia from uh, Love Life. <laughs> oh shoot! So it reminds me of no not Dia not Dia. Okay, yeah, so oh, what's this her? Is, yeah, yeah, you, you want to not touch that. If you touch that. You will game over, baby. Oh, why is everything glitchy? And it's like, it's like, uh, it's she's like, getting chased by a fucking Slender Man, so dude. Right oh, Slender Man? <laughs> but like, did you like kill any children? KO, so then you have to be if you don't kill careful. children. And then Ooh. they can also pop up in battle, and their, like, their range is intense, and they can just like kill you. Oh, I'll say one like, shot you. Cool. By just doing this. Oh, it's just a glitch in the Matrix, right? <laughs> right. I, in I essence, know, I yeah. In the screen, uh, so why is this... It kind of goes into like this glitch aspect in the game. Can you kind of discuss the... Oh, about like, like the glitch themes within the Curse game ball. of Death End Request? Throughout the, the series? Or, yeah, yeah I just think, like um... the series itself, just so, so people are just unaware that the game itself is oh, not, a save like, point. trapping out. Or oh my god. I could, do, uh, I could do our English. <laughs> the game like, really kind of, like, Basically, the... right? These worlds Whoa. and like technology and like our world Who's that? coming together. It's so we can like, I have no idea. Like being inside of like a similar. That's like a, a callback to the uh, original. And, and so um, the frog, motherfucker! The frog, world, motherfucker! Like bugs. You know, they're, they're, these worlds are bugged, and so um, you kind of go through and, hmm, and, and want to purge the uh, the code of, of these bugs. That's kind of the objective a lot of times when progressing through the dungeon. So you're going right. to see kind of like these weird things. I mean, not only do the environments kind of glitch out and, and, and transform, but so do the monsters. Basically. Oh, the monsters are awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I yeah. was like getting chased by a monster and I jumped onto a platform to avoid it. <laughs> Yo, you have to have a safety platform, right, guys? Should we yep. do the first so, giveaway? Yeah, we can do the first Yo, giveaway. Yo, where's my giveaway? All right, here we go. All right, let's do the first nice. giveaway. Okay, everybody. So, so for, for our giveaways... Um, what we do is we ask a question, so we hope that you guys were listening. All right, we'll get ready to answer a question, even though we don't have a giveaway. And oh, oh, right to that. Yeah, that would be really oh. terrible. Yeah, so basically, all you have to do is answer the question on in the chat, and then we will have Nightbot randomly generate a uh, winner. A winner. And then, not only do you win a, or have a chance she to has win a standard edition for Death and Request for the PlayStation 4, you also get a song by either Robbie or Rain. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Depending so on who you, wins. If you guys aren't familiar Robbie with the I, I, I my streams, we usually do a silly song for the person that wins. So whoever wins also gets a, a, a unique song for themselves. That they yeah, he also cusses them out. Forever, so. No, fuck yeah. <laughs> We'll All go right. ahead and uh, pick the first winner. Uh, not yeah, person, so we gotta we'll... ask the question first. <laughs> gotta ask the question. The question is the most important mm -hmm. part. Yeah, Alright guys, so get ready to type ready. a cool answer to this. You wanna ask the question, Rob? Sure. Uh, so the first question is... When is the North American PS4 release date for Death End Request 2? I'll put it on and the chat as well. Yeah, and please um, announce or write the whole month out. The month and the date. So the I'm gonna type that then. Close, the close. person wrote it in, in European 
full, the full month. Spell out the full month. Yeah, Don't put so in numbers. Yes, People are confused. August 20th. Yes. <laughs> there you go. So then, let me Oops. put a timer on my phone. So August 25th, you don't have to put the TH, just spell August and Yeah, 25. and don't spam I'm literally <laughs> telling you the answers. <laughs> Come yeah, on, if you get this wrong, I don't know what to say. To say it once. That's basically how most streams go, me. too. All right, well, it looks like since I was the just first to clarify, one to type the answer, get I get to... If you, say it once, you can't type that fast? You know what, I'll make... To the actual list itself. I'm a fast um, typer. Because if you do spam, you might get timed out, and also... Uh, yes. It's just not fun to look at spam. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a chance to win a standard edition for the PlayStation. Obviously, 4. we can't win this um, because this is two winners. already too late. Uh, you yeah, have it's like about two days ago. Thirty seconds left. So yeah, so. Um, Exciting. They showed on Tuesday, win, right? Please send a DM to the idea. Yeah, it's just Tuesday. International account. Send us a. I think it was like two p.m. our time. And then uh, we'll be able to let you know how to claim your prize if you win. So. Yes. I never win stuff because so I don't watch your streams normally. Seven seconds left. Whoa. Six. Whoa. Five. Four. Three. Two. Okay. And they're singing fucking Anya again. <laughs> All right, everybody, stop guessing. Oh, shoot, it's still going. Okay. You know so what? Maybe we should do a giveaway more, uh, when the game second. releases on Steam. That, That'd be interesting. At the end of uh, the stream, when and they five, like, four, hey, you can't three, win it from, from two, us reacting one. to this, bud. You're right. So uh, Mario see. Sonic has a good idea. He, everyone wins. Yes, everyone does win. Wait, <laughs> what? They said they chose the winner. Who's the? We didn't choose the winner yet. <laughs> I didn't see who the winner was. Who is it? Oh, Protolini. Pro Pro Protini. Protini. Protel. Pro Protini. Protini. Protein, yeah, the person that just went, oh, yeah, Protein. Protein. Okay, so old person won. That's you nice. Want to write the song or I'll <laughs> the song real quick? Protein. Oh, you got it? You got it. Protein. Protolini. No, right. no, no. Pro Protein. Oh, I forgot they both. No, Protein. Tortellini. I said pro, pro, Protein. He does this for pretty much everybody now. People so, found out you know, he has a guitar, and they're just like, let's just go fucking crazy. <laughs> So he's already like on the name wrong awesome. the person who won. Now yeah. pro Protolini. He just kind of rolled. Please send it. us a message, <laughs> a DM through the Idea Factory International homepage if you're. Watch not out, sure like Protolini is, is gonna right win instead of Protini. There's gonna be some confusion. ITL, and then send us a DM. Uh, Rain. He won. So yeah. let's see. Next, next, uh, next winner, please. I'm next sorry. I have to tell someone to literally roll it for us. What, who's the next one? Oh, they one? do. Um, Three giveaways, Phantom X one on Death. Twitch, and Phantom one... X Death has won the giveaway. Yay! Oh, Shouts to X Death. All yeah, right. right. Shouts to X Death. Fucking what, trade. Phantom? X Death. You're a winner. In my book. <laughs> Did he freeze? Oh, okay, he has never been on the actual street. The shortest song in the world! <laughs> nah, no, keep going. His name is Phantom. Yes. So unfortunately, this is kind of like a waste of time for us who wants to like watch the yeah. um, the stream. Plus, like it's not like any of us can participate in the uh, wins, nice. winnings of this. Yeah, I thought it would be more less, like less like the regular streams, more like like Congrats, a Congrats, you won! Stream. Congratulations! Uh, so, um, you two. Uh, I guess it's their both, style. Uh, pro, 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 Protolini now, and um, Phantom X Death. You both won a PS4 Standard Edition of Death and Request too. So please send us a DM. They had a website the update Factory for this game, page, actually. And then uh, yep. we'll let you know, and we will. I'm gonna step ship back, back for a second. Right? When it releases <laughs> August 25th. No, Seriously, if you guys didn't get it right <laughs> with it so on the freaking website, whole, uh, what was happening? Uh, uh, Zan actually used a buggy skill. Uh, one of the characters. Mm -hmm. Alright, we get to see combat. To platform and get the secret treasure. That's nice. So each character has their own buggy skill that kind of allows them to kind of progress within a dungeon. Oh, so you take these freaking uh, like the orphan the girls and this boarding school out to fight oh. giant cursed uh, monsters? Really? Someone, sure. someone asked if we could give a Steam code. Can we? Should we? So like, if they want a PS4 or a Steam version, yeah. Uh, I think I think that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then basically, oh you, okay. So we actually okay. have 
I come He's back and there's giant too, so whatever those are. Yeah, they could have run away. I just thought it was, uh, I thought yeah. it was messed up. They're using orphans to fight Thank monsters. Thanks for the question. Thanks for the question. Props. V2 between, uh, released on the Switch from the West? Yeah, that'd be that's fair. Uh, mm. This looks like freaking... It's okay. I don't know. I was talking about oh, it's this skills. style of combat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Last... Yep. That's uh, right. What, There's what the, knockback the and uh, collisions too. Like, at least oh, so if they're keeping little with little the same battle system. Okay, yeah, so, so what are the little uh, each things on the ground? Has, like, a dungeon Traps, or a basically. Skill. Those are um, um, has, uh, bug zones. Kind of... Each one has oh, its own oh, ability. Oh, Sometimes kind of it buggy, deals right? damage to whoever goes through them. Can you get positive uh, effects on them too? You can get positive effects. Without giving too much away, it's almost like a concentrated, like, Form of like emotion given form, and so it kind of is like the the bugs inside of this this world that they're in taking shape and and, and almost like living symbiotically with its host, and so it kind of oh okay so the shadows you know, use these powers and do these transformations and, and even kind of alter the field of play, and so like you were saying, uh, as you progress the game, you'll be able to kind of use their help in order to navigate and find other corners of the map. Uh, or the dungeon uh, that might yield some items, or it could kind of take you to uh, another path. So it's right. it's almost just like a, a little familiar. Hmm. Right. Someone said, sorry, kind of changing the subject here. Someone said, if I sing Enya and record it, can I get a code? No, but if you sing Enya and record it, we are interested in hearing your Enya voice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You will, you will not yeah, get absolutely. any code, but we will praise you with all of our words. What so Enya sing? Yeah. And submit your Enya song. To uh, us. Only time is one really of the most yeah. famous songs. I, I want most well known the Enya. Enya cross. Oh, you got your first motorcycle two weeks ago, Mike? <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Very nice. I'm in a battle, so as you can see, um, right now, there can be multiple enemies on the screen i forgot what the max amount of enemies that can pop up but as you can see there's what is there that's like seven it's more here. than three and then if a lot of enemies and if you can see i think it caps at 12 little, like these remember the first game the ground, they're oh. called field bugs so because the world is kind of like glitching out all right what kind of what kind um, of uh morsical gl make it's called field bugs that kind of can affect your gameplay so then you can actually see what each individual field bug does by hitting square for search. And then you can actually see what it does. So this oh. one has a random parameter, so you don't know what it will be. But then it'll also increase your corruption up by 3%. And oh, so you can, can see, see what they do with each girl's like, face mm. is a um, percentage. And that's basically how much they can get corrupted. And once they get to 80%, um, they will glitch out and uh, go into a different transformation where they're kind of all messed up and crazy, but strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then you can kind of go, like, this one right here is like a mine. So this is just, will just damage you and up, up your corruption by 20%. Uh -oh. And also you can Ooh, knock like a Vulcan. into I the understand. field bugs, so you don't have to, like, walk into them. Oh, but you nice. Can get rid of that's them a, that's a good choice. The enemies into them as well. Mm -hmm. So that's so, also another satisfying... Uh, System within the game. This is the knockback system where you can actually Not combo bad. attacks by smacking the hell out of enemies and into your own uh, teammates, and they kind of uh, ricochet off the the walls and also within the other characters. So, yeah, so you I definitely want to try oh, yeah, the combo, combo attacks. Are you pretty definitely want to combo your attacks. So uh, basically, you use lolly of, uh, turns that you have, yeah. um, and it's super necessary when you're fighting. Uh, a lot I like the little girl. I like the little white haired girl with the hat. Go not because she's lolly, but because she's wearing yeah. glasses. Having, uh, your party kind of help I feel that every uh, all, all characters right. wear so glasses. Then for, um, <laughs> so for the game, they they have something called the triac system. So basically, you're able to select three different commands, and you can triac the match. triple triac system. Each character has a certain affinity, <laughs> so the affinities use um the sun, the moon, and the star. And each that. character is either a sun, moon, or star, and then um the enemies will also have their own affinities. So as you can see right here, Roddy has the um her attacks are. Sun based, so I like the music so far. Star enemies. So then each okay. character kind of learns different types of abilities. So, so she does have star sun, skills and moon star, skills, but moon. each one kind of is strong. Like each what kind of types of attacks there are? Is there neutral? Mm -hmm. So then you can choose um, what yeah, really, I don't know. Yeah, that's important, attacks right? you yeah. want. And then I'm going to see if I can together, knock back yeah. the character into, uh, into my. So then here you can see the knockback. Uh, oh. Right at her boots. So right, yeah, this is that system that uh, Xander's kind of showing off is that triac system where you, you input three different and actions. And knockback. 
And by the third action, that's when you actually knock someone back into either a wall or two. Oh, I got rid of a bunch of the uh, yeah. and things too. You can also yep. um, knock back the enemies into different Trust characters or into other. I think you might have said that already, but you can knock it. Yeah. You can like set mm -hmm. up all that's your okay. characters. Fifty-two percent. Where do you see that? Yeah, you right. can set up all your uh, her, characters. The percentage is next to the to, uh, face portraits on the bottom left corner. Oh, that's the corruption. That's the corruption. Yeah. Yeah. So then someone so asked what special happens edition? Nice. when uh, what corruption does. You will see, because Roddy is almost there. Oh, that's Roddy. So, yeah. Let me just do one of these. So I don't think it's an idea factor international game unless there's a transformation, and Death End requests you definitely has transformations for the characters here, so. <laughs> I missed. <clears throat> oh, super knockback! Hey! Oh, shoot, this is tight! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Uh, ah, I got excited. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Uh, a few people died. <laughs> a lot of died. It's, so it's good looking. Yeah. Nice. All right. So this so is you Liliana. notice that overkill uh, little icon there. So whenever an overkill icon shows, it basically means that you have pummeled the monster beyond the actual uh, health. Obviously. Uh, the more a damage that you apply to a, a monster beyond its health, you actually get more experience points. Oh, so it's really good nice. to kind of uh, combo your attack and make sure you're getting the most XP as possible for every battle. Hey, Rain, how was it doing, like, the voice, the voicing for fights? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, it's, I'm curious uh, about that. Probably so one of the like, funnest yeah! parts. <laughs> so, yeah. So second to the death screams, obviously, is uh, all the battle lines <laughs> as far as fun goes. And the thing that's kind of challenging about it, you know, is um, every time you do it, it kind of puts a strain on your voice. And so we always usually save the battle lines for the end because it's essentially hundreds of. Huh, 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 come on! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. So, you know, you kind of have to. Like, do, they, do they do the chest it. pumps yeah. like you did? I do they do huh. that too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's part of the job. Is Come on. Well, um, but all those efforts, you know. What? And especially because every single character is different. Hear so, me. No matter like what, what I write, you know, there's like a let's say like. I thought you were calling me. No. I like yeah, that he is using the chest, but like, what? Who? What is it? Good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and so it's just hearing hundreds of grunts. Why is the money and no? All right, we'll take it. Why is the money and like, no? Why is the money really, like, called like and yeah, no or whatever it was when she picked it up? Gems in there. There's one per hug, never taken. So what? So when you're actually doing no! the, that's the, literally the, what like finding I like the voice, the voices for these characters. Mm -hmm. um, Whoa, shit! You definitely, I feel you have to take into account of the character that looks like I'm itself within the game. Mind everywhere. How was that? Like the the whole deciding factor. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's a 95 uh, thing. What does that mean? Uh, oh wait, guys, hang on. Roddy's going into glitch mode. Ooh. Oh snap! All right, so ooh, that's a great question, though. We will get right back. So she's got more naked? <laughs> so this is glitch mode. <laughs> so now which means she's naked. All right, here we go. So then when you're it's Idea mode, Factory. When they transform, they turn naked. Oh! She's about to blast you! Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the guys are, like, seeing the stream, like, at the same time you guys are. So, <laughs> so like, they're behind. Yeah, so basically, yeah. whenever you're in glitch mode, um, mm. there's a special attack that you can only do in glitch mode, and you can only put it in slot three of the triac. So mm -hmm. we'll give you guys, like, a quick look at uh, what this glitch mode attack looks like. Oh, vampire. Bam, baby. Kick him. Kick him some got more. the legs. I like uh, how she has like a gun, right? But then when she does this attack, there's no gun. Just like, She's just kicking them. See, that's she, how. Well, she shoots them at the end. That's how badass she is, though. She don't need no gun. Uh, that's always nice, like the the four wow. break. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. It's even it's marked to uni, but even more nice. naked, maybe. Nice. Well, it's all right. I just realized that her feet caused the explosion. Oh, she went to zero I too after that. Oh, her feet, huh, Rob? <laughs> Oh yeah, her that corruption. Oh wait, no. Rob. I no. I oh, so it's like <laughs> if you use the corruption, it goes back to zero. That was unintentional. Yep. Oh, so no, it's actually good to get corruption then because it can reduce I it. I didn't know this was um, a thing. There's probably a downside to getting corruption too. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you got random effects depending like, on what effects Rob's you got, right? Feet. Anyways, Maybe? sorry, you guys can continue the conversation about um, if you guys remember what you were talking. So we just found out Rob has a foot fetish. Is that what we're hearing now? Um, no, yeah, we were just kind Welcome of talking about the, the uh, I mean, that's, you know, that's okay. We accept all fetishes that aren't, uh, detrimental to people. Oh my God, of, like, 
picking mm -hmm. picking an actual voice actor and kind of oh we were like in before like she of, just runs into uh, like a glitch guess, thing like a, that kills characteristics her. that you wanted to find she probably why, will knowing her uh, who's the main protagonist here it's yeah. Zan we're talking about she's going to end up well, getting in particular, her, though, I feel like she's a skill. very kind of complex uh, she's a little complex but definitely has a lot of sides to her. And the right. thing that was really important was kind of that range because, you know, Mai's had something of a troubled past and she is very, very intelligent, very, very driven. But the thing is, she's a little timid. She's a little reluctant to engage with other shows socially because she doesn't really trust. <laughs> All them. like, what the hell? Um, and so kind of what we do typically when we when we cast voice actors is, you know, we have the Japanese, the original Japanese voices. And we use those as reference and then we work with the voice studio to get a series of auditions. And uh, yeah, I was fun. really, really happy with Mai's voice actor. This game looks fun, yeah. She that range and have uh, the range, I'm sorry. You know, you have Mai's my perspective, curious side, and then you also have her very passionate and outspoken side because she's looking for her sister. And all that stuff kind of comes together and really makes for hey, his sister's a great missing. experience. Mm -hmm. Right. She mm -hmm. game. Almost got a panty shot before there. We actually go ahead for the fans, right? <laughs> The kind of process of the VA stuff. I think we could go to another giveaway. Yes, perfect. No, that's always yeah. important, guys. Just you know, in your game, especially yeah. if you're a compile hard, so you want to put that pan that Ponzu shots in be, because for the fans. Um, we'll ask mm -hmm. the question in just a sec. But um, so for the giveaway, if you're just joining us now, um, you have a chance to either win a PS4 hmm. version or a Steam version of Death End Request 2. Um, and we will select two winners, and all you have to do is answer the question that we will be asking. All right, let's see what the question is this time. And then we'll time. use Nightbot to randomly generate a winner. Also, just a friendly Prizes reminder for those one. that are, are answering. Two. Huh? Yeah, sorry. What um, do you think? I was saying, uh, for those You'd be okay with having Iris Hart as your right mom. And want to uh, participate no, that's in a... the actual oh, yeah. giveaway. Uh, just make sure you so don't be doting, scam. Though. A little bit scary, uh, but doting. Once you input the the actual answer, Flute? yeah, um, it'll be you'll automatically be inputted, and spamming doesn't increase your chances for winning. So just a heads up. Okay. That's what you say. So the question is, um, Does Rain want to ask it. Oh yes, Rain, you want to ask Rain it? Rain, ask the question. Sure. <laughs> Do you know what it is, Rain? Okay, okay, here I go. <laughs> just, just call him mm. out. Yeah. It's like he's like sleeping on it. All right, I got it. So the game is split between two different types of gameplay. By night, it's an RPG. But during the day, what kind of gameplay is it? Oh, VN. Did, did they novel. cut off? Yep. <laughs> I think it has, oh, like, the, the game is split between two styles of gameplay. Oh, two different novel. types of gameplay by night. Yes! Yes! yes. Visual novel it is. People are listening to our words! Wow! This is the about. first time, I wow. feel. Wow! Okay. So like, just, just to stress the visual aspect. Yeah, most of the time when they... The um. Game. When they ask uh, the, questions the on their regular the streams, kind of like the we troll the shit out of them and just have fun. It's like, and who's the main we, character of Neptunia? Uh, Mary Skelter. Yeah, that's happened before. Mary Skelter! I think uh, at one point, um, they said, who's the main character of this game? And, and a whole bunch of people said, Vert's feet. That's fair. Yeah, yeah that would be true all night. You'd be able to use, like, like uh, uh, the chain swords and stuff. Novel, you're right. But it's like, yep. When I was yep. playing it, I was definitely getting, like, lost in... And voodoo control, dolls. Like, so where's, where's the horror aspects like, of this game? Right, right. You guys have 30 seconds. I think it's, like, psych horror. Look at this monster! Because <laughs> you... It's a spider tent. It's, it's a it's a it's a freaking oh, sphincter spider. I've whatever. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. No, it's not tentacles. I guess it's tentacle lead. No. It's like half spider, it's half like. like... Hey, look, she got first strike or good encounter, I guess. What the <laughs> hell, Rob? In this, in this Wait, it's like, it's that's right. The corruption went to zero when she teleported. That's weird. All right, so, all right, so the timer is done. So everyone, stop guessing. We'll give you guys a few seconds because I know there's a delay. So just a few seconds. Just a... Oh, okay, okay. The nightbot has won. Uh, chose a giver. Master, Master Age, Master Age, Master, Master Rage, age. Master Age. Master Age. Uh, at least it wasn't uh, the ultimate, the, 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 the master of the uh, of the baiters, right? Age, yeah, right. Oh, no, <laughs> congratulations, Master Bater, or Master Vader. So is the master of age someone who's old? Or someone so young because they uh 
they mastered Sorry, H. I messed up on the chords there, but you get the idea. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Did he say anything? Uh, Did Master H say anything? Said visual novel. I don't. <laughs> I just wrote a dang song for this. Oh, I didn't write it. Okay, shout out to everyone that realized yeah. it's a neutral build song, but. Um, Master Ace, yeah. are you there? Also, shout out to Buck Marvin. Oh, yeah, you have to respond <laughs> if they call you. Love you. No, shout you out, Buck. Buck. Yeah. But? Master Buck. Age. That's what you're saying? You don't, Master Age. I, I, I said, don't know if, I saw if you win Master on their Age. streams. What you have to do is um, actually say I something agree. to acknowledge okay, okay, the fact said, oh, that yay! you're still okay. there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I say go on, so, yeah. What I would do is, I'm like, oh, yes, wow. I can now dedicate this to my uh, right. ne uh, Planetude Shrine. <laughs> it will be a long time now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. For winner Sorry. number two. That spent me loads, actually. X. Page X has won the giveaway. Oh, sucks to be Page X. Y. A song nice. from yeah, Rain. Right. Rain, can you, can you hit us with a Page X song? Here we go. Wait a little bit, I see if Page X won. Yeah, she did it without. Oh, fuck. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rain! <laughs> I don't We're think it's not supposed to swear on this one as much, right? Yeah, it's not supposed to swear on this one, but they just did. <laughs> Code, what's up? What's wrong with this bike? Codes like, fuck, <laughs> and then left. <laughs> See you, Code. Yay! Awesome. Yes. We should have better coordinate for things like this. You would you, think, but we're not. Uh, Master Age. Too hard. Um, please. Uh, we, I've been trying to set this up for like the past several days. Probably the VOD was up on Tuesday. VOD was up on Wednesday. Well, you should yeah. reach out to us. Be like, hey. Thursday. My no, said Rain actually said Buck, so good job. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, just, I was just thinking of, I was so emotional well thinking played. of Buck. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I... yeah. All right, so yeah. remember, guys, you want to get away with swearing? It's like, no, I didn't Wherever say the F word. I said the B word. Buck. So... Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> yeah, right. Awesome. So we have, like, we have like 15 ish to 20 ish minutes left. Oh, well, so... that's it. We have one more giveaway after this, what? and it's for a limited what? edition. So. Yeah, hey, we have been so streaming for forty, some, for like almost fifty minutes. Get we have, for, we have really. Uh, right, so. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I think the so last this is just gameplay and giveaway, kind of and we haven't really seen that much of the visual novel. It's just the um, action RPG mm -hmm. section. Uh, How long is this night portion about, anyway? Like, can uh, you just play this forever game, until you give up? The monologues within the game. Yeah, you did. It's basically you trigger day and night portions. Much different than the actual natural speech of things. Um, can you actually yeah. talk about a little bit more of that and how, uh... Magic like, Missile! Did you feel like the, Magic the Missile! Parts were Into the Darkness! Or did you feel attached to any of these characters that you, you were, um, kind of editing? And, um, oh, yeah. I think that's, that's a very I mean, long-winded question, but... <laughs> no, attached to these characters I, I, you're killing? I, I think it's... It all definitely goes together. I think, um... One thing I really love about writing... Or, sorry, editing uh, Death of, uh, Death of Death is... Each of the characters, uh, in both games really, but especially in the second game, each of the characters has such a... Well, she could do a um, fucking standing backflip? I mean, a, a troubled backflip. I guess. A lot of them deal with things in their Feel own way. Feel inadequate as a human and, being. Uh, ...are very kind of nuanced. And so, by progressing the game, you definitely get a lot of that development. And that boob development right there for you guys. <laughs> in sort of black -black and monologues. Yeah, they're just like, <laughs> chest and, and in your face. I'm like, really compile heart, ladies and gentlemen. Editing, because, you know... That you know, it's just this is this is the moment when the kind of oh the god, that is giant. All right, so that's Liliana <laughs> of the Veil, vale. uh, and so we kind of give special care to that. And All right, this is what happened before Liliana became a planeswalker, guys, we were in Magic the Gathering. Sure to like note those sections, and then what we would do is typically when 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 we're voice recording a game, yeah. uh, oh, she can get long legs in the middle of the, the voice oh, actor, god, and they kind of read line by line, and we take takes, you know, and a lot of times you only have like 15 seconds to decide. Um, does a, does a line work as is, or you know, should we do a quick rewrite? But with monologue sections, I mean, you have it's a fake like wall. Trunks a lot of times, and so what yep. we do is instead of having them read line by line to kind of get it more flow uh, flowing naturally, we have them read the whole thing. And those are that my makes favorite sense, moments because you want them to read it in chunks. Mm -hmm. It's almost like reading prose, you know. It, it, right, right. Do you need to get choose to want to enjoy and, the and pain or just like I, really I enjoy pain. I'm like, I'm pretty much masochist. So I think that there's some of the 
Yeah, I was actually just what is the anime playing? I'm like not playing anything right now. I'm just showing my face. Like the, like a lot of the characters within this, yep. you, you we're, do, we're doing a react. A lot of Reacting to the new yeah, game plus of, expo. A lot of emotional, um, mm. Coming of age aspects within each character. Uh, were mm -hmm. there any particular characters that you? Hello, little doll. That's scary. Anything that oh you no, it has no face. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Liliana for sure. She's so is, bad at running away. So, she's so motivated to be an exorcist. That's that's kind of what her dream is. She wants to grow up and she wants to be an exorcist. Exorcist? Which is a crazy oh boy. I can't think of many, many people who set up an exorcist. But she overcomes such great odds and, and, right. and manages to retain like, her authentic self. And I feel like that's such a relatable thing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, especially because she looks up to, to Maya and Roddy so much. So that for her, they're, they're her mentors. And so she kind of puts on a, lot, a really strong facade just by kind of shouldering a really uh, huge like emotional burden and so actually uh when we were when we were recording some of those parts uh it's one of those moments where oh can you hear me now we yeah, dress over here you like started yeah, okay. and you went back um, to <laughs> the, the va nailed it if we do it probably won't include me because i dislike uh dungeon crawlers we all just sitting and dragon star varnier is not a dungeon crawler it's another game that's similar to neptunia so there's so many scenes right. you're thinking mary skelter i mean i won't play that one either we're making the school and all no doesn't that one isn't that one also the dragon uh the uh dungeon crawler Sure. So it kind of Dragon Star Varnia? Yeah. The gameplay is much section section more similar to Neptunia. You just kind of get to know all of these people because all of them have such interesting stories. I mean, when you think about an orphanage, you know, what kind of tragic circumstances would leave, uh, you know, people to be there and, and, and through these visual novel portions you're going to have. Right. Hmm. I mean, no offense, but I will probably try uh, the Japanese voices as well. <laughs> So like while you guys were talking, I started getting yeah, right. chased by a doll. <laughs> it freaked me yeah, out. I the, the, so I was like, kind of like that creepy doll. So I'm assuming yeah, that so the like, that enemies look scary. <laughs> is what I'm saying. And I was like trying not For the to scream. Part. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to see. So uh, I know you're the you're the lead editor of Death End Request, yeah. right? Hey. Can you kind of mm. talk about I guess. <laughs> The differences and similarities between like the characters within Death and the Quest. Well, I won't play Dra Dragon Star Veneer. Are they, okay. The the arcs for these characters are sort of different. Um, I don't even know what kind of game it is. So. Questions here, but. Uh, oh no, of course. That was a dungeon crawler. <laughs> uh, just yeah. kind of it's, talking I, about uh, the yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I don't know. Uh, I think both of the games are. Uh, they kind of you know they're they're connected by the same tissue, but yeah, I think they are kind of. Stories. I mean, in the first one, you have Arata, or Arata looking for Sheena. I mean, both stories obviously start with someone in search of other circus. Mm -hmm. The scope of this. In the first one, you had World's Odyssey, which is this kind of teeming virtual world that Arata was able to kind of go inside and find Sheena in there and then try to get her out. There's mm -hmm. this game that locales mm -hmm. in a, a small village um, that has secrets inside of it. You know, we're seeing these things kind of. Out, but I'm not really, really sure why because this is you know, also like world, death and request is essentially we different think, that's know, what they're saying in story and mm -hmm. for for the first game i felt like the stakes were 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 big but rooted around um sheena kind of extra uh extracting herself from the game whereas in this one you know the, the kind of the Yo, cool shots of hitbox. conspiracy aspect comes back to it but now you have three main protagonists instead of sort of a larger cast of six and i think that mm. they all uplift each other and they be, their bond is, is, is so much closer you know you see the, that in their interactions you see that in some of the adventures they have and some of the struggles they have mm. um, um kind Can of sneaking question? out at night no, that's to, my other form can't get it right through now all of these dark alleyways to find some clues as to where snipe no. would be a very overwhelming no. situation you know, for anyone i don't know if Audita would be able to and of course she runs right and, into uh, it like she always does oh my god zan right mm. thanks Ray. uh yeah. we are kind of slowly kind of running out of time so i do want to at least get the the question for the last giveaway so if you're just tuning in this is the last question did we talk uh, about gonna... it we did. We actually talked about it in the beginning. Oh, uh, very nice. briefly. Yeah. So uh, before yeah. before we go into um this uh, <laughs> sorry, give me a second. <laughs> before we go into the actual question, let me just show you guys the le really quick. 
Oh, yes. Ooh, Ooh fancy. It has a messenger looking bag. All right, yep. I'm done. It has question mark, question mark, question mark. The best gift. Close. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Right. Wow. Ooh. Oh, my God. Is that a limited edition? So, I'm assuming. What? So, do so you mean that the main characters what? are essentially. Um, I don't think he realizes his, uh, his so uh, microphone is. <laughs> anyway. uh, so this is a death end request. But yeah, those are the main characters. Character. Like there's like four, technically four uh, main characters. You got the hard cover, hard but three of them are like the main uh, playable ones, and the fourth girl is probably, probably like there's something about her that we need to know uh, for the game. I wonder if. More story I wonder if that's like the quote unquote person they're supposed to be searching for. They mentioned. Um, then who's that? Uh, who's that person has, behind my in the sketches, top left? Like key arts, uh, oh, oh he, 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 she, she is searching for her sister, though, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So it probably is her then. Yeah. Probably is her missing sister. Yeah. Or you can get the Steam code. Or someone that. Yes. Or the Steam code. Uh, there's also the Could collector's be. box. Uh, right there, straight in the middle. A uh, original soundtrack. Main girls of this um, my Roddy and Liliana. Steel game case, mm. has, like, steel That's unfortunate game that her name is Roddy. For you, it's very shiny, very cool. Yeah, because just and like Roddy tops, you're, you're gonna run into that. No, no, no. Just, the, just because like your name is bag. is just Roddy. Hey, you're Roddy. Roddy. Then request to bag, lifestyle <laughs> on a bag. That's a whole uh, bag. <laughs> very very skilled to find out what. It looks Hopefully, uh, bag. Death and Request okay. games yeah, come to a Switch eventually. Size, That'd be nice like, to have, like, I have I release on the Switch. There, that would be really cool. It's pretty, it's really cool. There's like, actually there quite a few games that they're only yeah, releasing on Switch at this point. No, but I um, want, like, cross platform. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you guys can wishlist it right now. Oh, yeah, we could just go wishlist it. It's not available for pre order, but stay tuned. Uh, very soon we'll announce more stuff, but, uh, stay tuned for that, the live of that. Death um, and... Okay, I think that's great that we showed the Ellie. I totally forgot we had that pack shot. I'm glad yeah. we were able to show that. <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and go into the last question. So again, for people that's joining in, uh, we're going to give away a question and pick two winners. Uh, this is the last question, so we're actually, the, the two winners are going to win a copy of the limited edition. Yes. Uh, either Steam or PS4. Yeah, so you can let That's us really know cool. when you win the DM us um, if you want the Steam version or the PS4 version. Um, There's no COVID in my room. We'll uh, hopefully not. To you once the game is released. Mm -hmm. so, that would suck. So, is the, is the it, LE going to be available in EU? Oh, yes. why am I wearing glo so we gloves? Do These are actually compression a, gloves. Um, They're EU meant to be uh, good for so, the Robbie, can you good for the wrist. You know, helps the carpal store? tunnel. No, it's not for circulation. Are you like, what is it? To help with the. Uh, I have. Uh, I have um, um, it's DM I've been having some uh, uh, Twitch. So like our Twitch account is Ice Factory INTL and mm. the Whisper. So that's why we're in Twitch. Please. Please. Otherwise, right. they're fingerless. You know, Should I ask cool. the last question? Sure. No. Are you going to copy it into the thingy, Rob? Well, if you eat plus, she's already wearing it. I mean, you don't the know. What? Dun, dun. Are you going to copy, yeah, copy and paste it? Copy and paste the question? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let me see where the question is. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So, this question to win, for a chance to win a limited edition of Death End Request 2 is, what is the monotheistic faith that is followed in the in the city of Le Shawara? What? We said it at so, the beginning. It's uh, the faith of Neptunia. I the answer right, because we <laughs> did briefly Monotheistic, not polytheistic. Oh, I said Neptune. Someone got it. Is a good listener. Hey, 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 I was playing with Wonder Woman. Hey, you know, uh, the two most requested songs on guitar? <laughs> Play the Wallflower! Yeah, and the other one's Freebird! That's so good. Oh, jeez. 
Go to one mystery room. <laughs> I say maybe. This reaction video was kind of crazy. That's yeah. That's great. Hey, Rain, it. do you have, like, a favorite uh, minor character that yeah. you feel like people should look out for? Like, not one of the main characters, Ooh, but do you, you know have, what? like, think, a minor character yeah. that you... Oh, really they're the best like. characters of the game. Mm. Alright, stop, stop. I think Midra is probably one of the... Oh? Midra? Oh, no, no, you can go. I, I just meant stop the giveaway. I see, yeah, Midra is the uh, Midra, most interesting huh? character. One of the most interesting characters. Yeah, oh. she, yeah. She has a, yeah. There's a bit a of a knee-jerk reaction. So Midra, Midra for the people. Game. Yeah, Midra is actually uh, mm -hmm. Roddy's mom, and she's a oh. mm -hmm. she's a very interesting person. Very, she's a very, very interesting. interesting. Oh. All right, Elmer Fudd, jeez. Uh, also, that wasn't a uh, a shout out to Transformers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll the winner. The winner is Sival Sival O One Three. Sival? 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 I think this would be more funny if I knew the people a little bit better. Yeah. They didn't do this at first. They just kind of, they're like, Rob, why do you have a guitar in the background? And he's like, oh, because I play guitar. Nice. They're like, play something. Thank you, and it kind of went from there. Zan also has one, and apparently, so does Rain. Yeah, Rain played his as well. Awesome. So, someone said, yeah. Someone said, congrats, the real prize is Why does a song? everybody play guitar? The real prize is a song. Huh? Everyone's taking clips of the song everybody and singing it for themselves. Everybody has a guitar in the I, in Idea Factory. I don't know why. Well, that's, that means that I'm not going to work All for them. Right. Roll again. I don't have a guitar. Next winner. Well, that's the thing. If you work for them, you will get a guitar. Wow, it's part of the employment. Wow, a bunch of W's have won the Wicked Award. <laughs> it's just a bunch of W's. It's just literally W, 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 W. Kasa. Oh, that, that sneaky, Kasa. sneaky sneaker. Wow. All right, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> I want to hear how it goes. Take it away. <laughs> also, the guy just got timed down, by the way. The W W. Wait, he got timed out? He got timed out. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. Oh no! What is oh, it? No. Was it just like w. Whoa, 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 Beverly uh, Hills, you. that's uh, where the, I the, want the, to the, be, to be, to be, to be, living in Beverly Hills. Yeah, let me, Hills. I'm double checking if they responded. Okay, yeah, so, whoa, 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 please, <laughs> please send us a DM on Twitch uh, and let me? us know um, that you want to claim your uh, I, I, I so, faded yeah, from existence for a second there. The oh, you did? Almost did, yeah. Oh, so became a, I became a mosaic. Oh boy! I became, I became, I became, yes, I became an off ground <laughs> sensor. <laughs> there was such a delay. Ah. Awesome. There was a slight delay. Nice. I came for the game and it just keeps. Yo, fuck it. Yep. Let's do a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Like, who's here? Yeah, I know right we have now, a little bit of time chat. left, but just, um, just Raniel, All Mike. Comes out for a PS4 what do we have in chat and right now? On Steam, there August 25th, I think and there is a way to see how many people there are. On August 28th. Uh, we also have a preview trailer available. Participants, here we go. Oh, apparently here. just us. Keep it out. Okay. Well, the system is kind so of wrong. In so, the standard that's it. Or limited edition yeah. of Death and Request 2. You can also check out our iffy online store here. Uh, also, uh, we are having a store-wide week-long 30% off sale. Uh, excluding mm -hmm. yeah, that's excluding Arc of Alchemist Standard Edition, but... Um, you can grab stuff 30% off. We have new reward points available in our online store. Oh, yeah. And uh, 
For any order that's sixty dollars and more, you also get a a top net face mask. I unfortunately don't have the face mask wearing on me right now, but if you're familiar with the top net hat, we now have a top net face. Oh yeah, mask. I was thinking so, getting that. For all you Neptune fans out there, yeah, the top net hat. They no, the have face not mask. Got the face mask. The oh, the it's spending sixty dollars. Uh, oh, okay. The problem is I couldn't find sixty dollars to spend stuff yes. on. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. so like if you want to play the first game, it is on sale on our online store, the store.ifi.game. Oh, it is. The Steam version was not on there, though. Oh, wait, the Steam version is on sale on Steam. That's why. So, again, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I think that's it. Everyone, thank Xanda and thank Rain for. Yeah, I think here. that is it. Uh, we really appreciate your time. All right, I'm going to pause the thing right uh, now, okay? We can check, uh, you okay. Can check us out. Yeah, just to pause it. Um, well, this was, I guess, just a preview of Death and Request, uh, too. Yeah. Uh, the game looks pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I'm. Uh, I'm a fan of JRPGs of most types, and mm -hmm. you know, controlling uh, three cute girls is not a bad uh, trade for that. Yeah, uh, I think the combat system is interesting. They're a little like knockback system, how it works. Pretty easy to set up too. Uh, I'm not sure if that's for better yep. or for worse. Um, and it looked like the like the elements were sun, moon, star, like a uh, rock paper scissors style. I'm guessing. It could be play. that or Arcana style. Like the sun are kind of moon are kind of. I mean, star I think arcana. we have seen more than three. Arcana. Probably, probably. Plus, I don't think uh, the I think uh, in the major tarot, I think it's only the sun and the moon. Right, it's only two of the three. Sun, or, either sun or moon, or sun or star, whatever it is. I don't remember. It's sun I, and I, moon; they're opposite have, each like, other. Yeah. yeah. I would have to. Uh, I'm not. I'm not very um what's called learned in the major and minor arcanas um so it's something that if i want to talk about it uh intelligent i would have to re um you know research but for the most part short little stream to react to this uh game looks good um you know check out idea factory on tw yep. uh, on twitch uh matt you can give them to twitch uh thing What's this? Uh, yeah, I just uh, I gotta find it. In one yo, second. Yeah, get the link. Uh, yo, King, this is a what was a reaction to Idea Factory's um, presentation at the New Game Plus um, Expo. Check oh. these guys out on Wednesdays at uh, I think it's like eight p.m. EST, five p.m. Yeah, yeah, we're ending. Oh. We just got to the end of it. Pacific. Um, uh, for the most part, I would say death and, and it was it basically what it was. It was a, a big, it was essentially a big like gameplay preview of uh, Death and Request Two. And welcome back, um, all Mike. Yeah, welcome back. Now, if people are here, uh, you know what? We would have done I'm, a giveaway. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, why I'm, not? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a, a giveaway. Uh, this yeah. will be for when Death and Request Two comes out. Uh, you have to answer my question now, the canteen question. Can team question and um, we'll choose it randomly. But yep. <sighs> there's, a, there's a question right now. Who do you think is best waifu between my Roddy and Liliana, the three playable characters currently on screen? <laughs> You guys who's got uh, who's who? Oh, okay. So Mai is the main character. She's the one with the red uh, trench coat. Uh, Roddy is the girl with the little buns. Uh, uses like the the insect demon gun. Liliana is the uh, glasses wearing lolly with the hat. On the right. Yeah, and if you look at the portraits, um, this is Mai. The mouse is hovering over it. This is Roddy. <laughs> mouse is going around it, and this is Liliana. All right, Beth, from the very brief uh, introduction of these three girls, who did you like the best, out of curiosity? Uh, I don't know. My. Oh, okay. So, King has also chose Red Trench Hill, which is mine. Uh, uh, all Mike is like me and chose soul. Liliana. You're sold? Yo, the game looks good, too. And also, it helps that um, the game doesn't necessarily connect necessarily fully with uh, Death and Request, the first one. So there are like a few. Apparently, like there are some characters that do mm -hmm. transfer over, but yep. um, you know it takes place in a different place. Apparently, uh, the first game takes place in Japan. It takes place in an Eastern European country of unknown origin with uh, orphan girls. Leon is cute. I'm like, yeah, I agree. 
So, if only two people have answered, you gotta get the old random number generator. So, let me get that real quick. So, it looks a little like blonde. You know what? That's you also fair. have to That's figure fair. out who That's is fair. who. That's fair. It's okay. Uh, where is my. There is my number randomizer. Mm hmm. July 28th, V2, uh, Nintendo Switch. We shall see how it goes. All right. So, July 28th, okay. So, yeah, uh, winner of this right now, you get a copy of Death and Request 2 on Steam or PS4 if you're choosing. Let us know. Uh, and uh, uh, I'll give it to you when it comes out. Yep. Yep, yep. Boom. Yo. All Mike, you just won uh, a copy of Death and Request 2. Congrats uh, in, in the online. format you want. <laughs> Either Steam or PS4. Your yeah, choice. So. You tell us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll remember. We know, which, we know who you are in Discord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Switch 4 coming out yep. July 28th. Yeah. Yeah. Dead serious. End of August. Yep. It's yours. So just reach out to us then. But yeah, that's, uh, you know what? I, if I did five giveaways, we'll do one for the standard. Take your edition. time in deciding, Steam? too, because yeah. you, uh, you still got to. Yeah. A while I, I, I literally, find yeah, out I literally did odd and even, and you were even, and King was odd because I just did whoever answered first as odd or answered second as even. So, oh, that's that fair. Pretty fair. Yeah, <gasps> there you go. Luck. But you need a new PC. You know what? The good part is, if you if I if you give gifted on Steam, Steam and accept it, you can uh, play it when you do have a new PC. So, there you go. All right, we'll talk later on that one, but uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's the stream, right? We don't really have anything else to say. It's yeah, nice that really. Death and Request 2 is uh, itself feels separate. Uh, it apparently, it does have game mechanics similar to the first one. Uh, and the first one's on sale, uh, both on the IFI website and on Steam. Yep. So you can check it out that way. It's actually really inexpensive on Steam right now, I think. Yeah. Um, you can get the limited edition with, by getting the limited edition set on uh, Idea Factory's website for like 30 bucks, And like the, the game itself for like 15 or less. Uh, 16 bucks right now. Sixteen bucks, okay. One six. All right, well, and that's it. It's this also has... an M-rated game, so. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> I played Nekopara one. It was an adult-rated game, on YouTube. Yep. Yeah, we yep. we knew how that went. A lot. Yeah. Of, a lot of a lot of sensors there. All right. Yeah. This has been Anime Fan RK Two K and, and Math Rail of the Can Team. Thank you for right. watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you aren't. We appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.